Welcome to part 13 of my 2020 mandala. This week we'll be working up some poppies. Getting started on round 60, we joined with a slip stitch in this beginning double crochet. If you're carrying up the yarn, you can start with a chain 2. For myself, I'll be starting with a standing stitch. For this stitch, we're working a standing stitch, so wrap the yarn around your hook a couple of times, and we're going to be working in two layers. We're going to be working in this chain space from round 56, which is right in here. And at the same time, we're going to be working in this slip stitch that is in between these two little puffs or B stitches here. So right in there. So to work this stitch, insert your hook into that chain space and into that slip stitch. And we're going to work a double crochet. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now over on this side, in this little leaf, round 56 in that chain space, we're working a double crochet, and we're also working in that slip stitch between these two stitches. We're working a double crochet now. Next we're going to work four double crochet in the chain five space from round 56. So looking back here, we have this green round. This is a chain five and we're working four double crochets in there. There's one. two, three, and then four. Next we're going to work a back post double crochet and this stitch is going to be worked in the half double crochet from round 59 and the slip stitch from round 58. So to do this we're doing a double crochet so we need to yarn over this is the stitch we're working a back post around and then this slip stitch right here so we're sticking our hook in there bringing it through now looking here we have that stitch working beside it all the way through to the back and we're working that double crochet now we have a little repeat that we need to do a total of three times we're working five triple crochet in the next chain five from round 56, so that green round back here. We are working five triple crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and we need one more Oop. for five, and then we are going to work that back post double crochet in the two layers, which is that half double crochet here, and the slip stitch. So working the back post, working from behind, we have that slip stitch. working around those two stitches. There's that half double crochet right here. Working through to the back and we are working a double crochet. That's the little repeat. I've done it once. I'll show you again. We are working five triple crochet in the next chain five from round 56.
We need one more here. That's five triple crochets. And then we are working that back post double crochet in the half double crochet and slip stitch from these two rounds here. So working from behind. Working a back post, double crochet. So I've done that two times. We need to do it one more time. Five triple crochet. One more for a total of five triple crochets, and then we have that back post double crochet in the half double crochet and slip stitch here. Oh, did I put that in the right spot? I don't want to work around two stitches, so we are working that double crochet. Now in the next chain five from round 56 we're working four double crochets. There's one, two, three, and one more for four. And then that brings us back to where we started. Joining in these two stitches here. That's the repeat for the round. You need to do that a total of 12 times. Make sure to bring your flower through to the front of that chain 10, joining with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. Getting started on round 61, we joined with a slip stitch in this double crochet right here. If you're carrying up the yarn, you can start with a chain or for your beginning triple crochet. I'm going to start with a standing stitch so I've yarned over a couple times getting started on the repeat for the round which is to work a triple crochet in that double crochet. So yarn over draw through two total of three times. Now looking at the back of our work we have round 57 which is this blue round right here we have these chain spaces and we're going to skip the first one. We're going to work a single crochet in the next whoop, chain and then work a single crochet in the next chain space. Work a triple crochet in the next double crochet. So over here we are working a triple crochet. Working a double crochet in the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. We're going to work two double crochet in the next stitch. There's one and two in the same. Now we're going to work a front post triple crochet in the next stitch. So we're doing a triple crochet. We need to yarn over twice working around the front post our triple crochet. We have a little repeat that we need to do a total of three times. I'm just gonna check my stitches here. So two, four. Okay, so we're going to work a double crochet in the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, and then four. We're going to work 
two double crochet in the next stitch. So there's one and then two in the same. And then we're working that front post triple crochet, so yarn over twice in that next stitch. So working front post, triple crochet. That's the little repeat. I've done it once. I'll show you again. We're going to work a double crochet in the next four stitches. There's one, two, three and one more for four. In the next one we're working two double crochets. There's one and then two. Working that triple crochet, front post triple crochet in the next stitch. Working around the post a triple crochet and I've lost this one. That's the little repeat. I've done it twice. We need to do it once more. Double crochet in the next four stitches. There's the four stitches. We're going to work two double crochet in the next stitch. There's one, and then two in the same. Next, working that front post triple crochet in the next stitch, working around the front post, uh, triple crochet. Whoop, I did that with the last one. There we are. Now we are going to work a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and then three. Oops. In the next stitch, we're working two double crochets. There's one, two in the same, and that brings us back to where we started in this double crochet. That's the repeat for the round. You can do that a total of 12 times, joining with a slip stitch to that beginning triple crochet. Getting started on round 62, I'm going to be working this round with my gray yarn, uh, just for the video tutorial, and then I'll be working it up in green. We finished the last round off by joining with this slip stitch to this triple crochet right here, and for this round and getting started on the repeat for the round, we're going to be skipping that stitch. But to get started for this round, if you're carrying up the yarn, you can start with a probably a chain two or chain three and then start working in this chain space for the repeat, which is to work a single crochet. We're going to skip that triple crochet, the next one here, and then for this round we're going to work a double crochet in each stitch until we get to our front post stitches, these ones right here. So working a double crochet in each stitch until we get to the front post. And then in the front post we're going to work a double crochet and you're also going to work this is a front post triple crochet so yarn over twice working around the front post of that same stitch and then we're working a triple crochet that's what we're going to continue doing across work a double crochet in each stitch until you get to the next front post stitch. Ooh, I lost that one.
Now we're at the next front post stitch and in that stitch we're going to work a double crochet and then a front post triple crochet, so yarn over twice working around the front post a triple crochet. We're going to keep doing that double crochet in each stitch until you get to the next front post We're at the next front post, so we're working a double crochet and a front post triple crochet. Double crochet in each stitch until you get to the next front post. Now in that front post double crochet we're working that double crochet and a front post triple crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to double crochet in the next all of the double crochets and then when we get to the triple crochet that's where we started we're skipping that stitch. So working up our double crochets. That brings us back to where we started this triple crochet and that is the repeat for the round. You need to do that a total of 12 times joining with a slip stitch to your beginning single crochet. So in here I got my yarn tangled. We're going to skip this triple crochet, single crochet in the chain space, and then skip that next triple crochet. Before getting started on your poppies, some people find it's helpful to decrease your hook size before getting started on just the poppies. I don't change my hook size, but for some people they were too bulky. So take that into consideration before getting started on them. Getting started on round 63, we finished off with a slip stitch in this single crochet. We're getting started on the repeat for the round and we are going to skip that single crochet. If you're carrying up the yarn, you can start with a chain. For myself, I'm starting with a standing half double crochet in the next double crochet. So there's my first half double crochet. For this round, we're going to work a half double crochet in each double crochet. And then in the front post stitches, we will be working a poppy. So working a half double crochet in each double crochet. And then we're going to work a poppy in the front post stitch. To get started on our poppy, we need to work two half double crochet in that front post stitch. So there's one half double crochet and two. So we have our first one and our second one. Now we have a little repeat that we're going to use for making petals, which is to chain three. Work two double crochet around the post of the second half double crochet we worked. There's one. And then two. Chain three. Single crochet in that same half double crochet. So that's the little repeat for our petal. We've done it once, we're gonna do it again. Chain three work two double crochet in that same second half double crochet. 
there's one, two, chain three, and then work a single crochet in that same half double crochet. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And in this front post stitch, we're going to work two double crochets. So to do this, insert your hook into the center of the flower, working in that stitch. You can turn your work a little bit to work it. There's one. And then two. Now at this point, I take the yarn and I put it over my hook and I bring my hook around so that I am now looking at my work without having to turn the entire piece. And in here, we have that first half double crochet that we worked of the two. And we're going to work a petal around that. Before we do that, we need to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to single crochet around that first half double crochet. So we can see it right there. We're working a single crochet. Now we have that little repeat to do for our petals, which is to chain three, work two double crochet in that half double crochet. There's one, two, chain three, and then single crochet in that same half double crochet. That's one petal. Now you can either stop and have four petals or you can work one more repeat, which is to chain three, two, double crochet in that same half double crochet. It's hard to see there on camera because it's all clustered in now. Chain three, one, two, three, and then work a single crochet in that same half double crochet. Whoop. That brings us to our double crochets here where we will be working a half double crochet in each. Continue working those half double crochets until you get to the next post stitch. And then at the post stitch, you're going to be working a poppy. Now that we have that poppy done, you can continue repeating that two more times, working a half double crochet in each double crochet, and then a poppy in the front post double crochet. So you're going to work half double crochets and a poppy, work half double crochets and a poppy, and when you finish this poppy, I will meet you there. I just finished that last flower and we are going to work a half double crochet in each double crochet until we get to that single crochet that's back here. So we're at that single crochet now. We have two, four, six half double crochets and then the flower. And then we have a repeat here, which is two, four, six, seven, and then the flower. This one will be seven and then the flower. This one will be seven and the flower. And this one we have two, four, five stitches. Now we're going to work a back post single crochet in this pop from behind, working around the back post from in here through to the back. And we are working a single crochet. 
And that is the repeat for the round. That brings you back to where you started. You can do that a total of 12 times, joining with a slip stitch to your beginning half double crochet. Getting started on round 64, we joined with a slip stitch in our beginning half double crochet right here. Getting started on the repeat for the round, we're going to skip that half double crochet. If you're carrying up the yarn, you can start with a chain, and for myself I'll be working a standing stitch. We need to work a double crochet in the next six half double crochets, so skipping the first one and then working a double crochet in the next. So there's one, two, we need to do a total of six, so there's three, four, oops, five, and the last double crochet will be in the same half double crochet as it's the first half double crochet of your poppy. So you have a total of six there. And then we are going to work a single crochet in the last single crochet of our poppy. So right in here, at the top, we're working a single crochet. We have a little repeat that we need to do three times. We need to work a double crochet in the next two, four, six, eight stitches. So starting in that first half double crochet, we're working a double crochet. There's two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and then we're working one more for eight, which is in that first half double crochet of the poppy. So that's a total of eight, and then we are working a single crochet and the last single crochet of our poppy. That's the little repeat, eight double crochets, and then the single crochet. We need to do it three times. I'm gonna work them up here. So we're doing eight double crochets. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. The last one is in that same half double crochet as our poppy. Single crochet in the last single crochet of the poppy. I've done that repeat twice. I need to do it once more. Eight double crochets. So that's five. We need three more. making sure that last one is in the same half double crochet as your poppy. Single crochet in the last single crochet of our poppy. And then we are working a double crochet in the next four half double crochets. There's one, two, three, and then four. We are skipping the next half double crochet right here. And then next we are going to work in that single crochet 
or the front post single crochet right here and in there we're working a single crochet. That's the repeat for the round. You need to do that a total of 12 times joining with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. That brings us to the end of this section. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearstevie.com.